welcome to Glossos Mathematics class. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so you can get to see more videos on our channel. Sure. Today we are talking about bounds of real number. Now you have to know that your R, this R is the symbol for real number. So as we continue in this course, we'll be using more of this. And then when you see S, you should know that your what your S is a set and is a subset of what your R. So you can say S is a what is a super this is this sign not means super set of R. But then this is not what we are using in this course. I guess I'm saying. So we are using in this course that S is a word is a subset of what of R. So when we talk about S is a subset of R, this is what we mean and not this. So this means super and this means um subset. So that is a mistake you must try to avoid. Then we we'll also be using alpha as our lower bound and beta as our what as our upper bound. So when do we say a set? S is said to be what to be bounded. So we say a set S is said to be bounded below. If there exists, so this sign, this sign means if there exists. So this means if there exists. So if there exists alpha in what? In R, that is your real number, such that, so this sign means such that. So you must note that also such that alpha is less than or equals to x for all x in what in s where your s is a what is a subset of r then alpha is called a lower bound then your set s is set to be bounded above if there exists what beta in words in r real number such that what beta is greater than or equals to what x for all x in what in your set s which is a subset of what R, then beta is called what the upper bound. Now you must know that when you have a lower bound, you have infinitely many other lower bounds which are not mentioned. So you having alpha as a lower bound doesn't mean alpha is the only lower bound. It simply means that there are other lower bounds that you have. So the other thing you have to know under this is that set a set is set with bounded if it is bounded above and bounded below so your set you have to note that your set is only set to be bounded if it is bounded above and bounded below so you must note that it is very very important and then you can see that so a set is said to be bounded so a set is said to be bounded if it is bounded above and bounded below so a set is said to be bounded above and bounded below so we, see, we can write that with this notation that if there exists a constant m, so if there exists a constant m greater than zero, so your constant m has to be what? Has to be greater than zero, such that, so I'm sure we all know that this is our sign, such that the modulus of x is less than or equal to your what? Your m for all x in your what in your subset s so this is when a set is set to bounded and then commonly it is written like this minus m less than equals what x less than equals what m do we understand for all what x in what in s so this is means so this is when we can say a set is what is bounded above and bounded below do we get that now so before we continue let's quickly see some examples under this topic so let's say i have a set let's say I have a set s equals to one two three now if i'm being asked is this set bounded yes the set is bounded why because it is bounded above and it is bounded below for it to be bounded above, it has to have a what? A lower bound. And the lower bound here, which is represented with alpha, is what? Is 1. So 1 is the lower bound in this set. And the upper bound in this set is what? Is 3. So this set is what? Is bounded. Do we understand now? So let's say we have another set. A equals to, let's say I have dot dot dot. 
So I add dot 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 minus one and zero. Now, if you have been asked, is set A bounded? Set A is bounded above, but not bounded below. So the alpha of set A is what minus infinity, because it does not have a starting point. So it is minus infinity, and then the upper bound, which is the potential of beta, is what zero. So zero is the upper bound here. So we say that this set is what is only bounded above and not bounded below, and therefore the set is not what is not bounded. I'm sure we understand what I'm trying to say in this regard so let's look at some other simple example before we proceed so let's see i have um a, a question like this so i have um set of natural number let's say i have set of natural number equals to don't mind my n yeah so i have set of natural number equals to one two three dot 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 so go ahead and pause the video and try to check so i'm sure you can see that this this is bounded is bounded below by what by one because one is the starting point and then it is bounded above by what by plus infinity and therefore we see what the set is not bounded do you understand so what will be the answer for this let's say i have b to be minus one zero one two is this set bounded very clear it is bounded because it has a lower bound of what minus one and an upper bound of what td do we get that unbounded function now do we understand that so then the next thing we have to know which i'll continue in the next video so we can be able to get this very well will be the infinite of a set and the supremum of a set. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button so that I can get to see more videos on Colossus Mathematics channel. Thank you very much and God bless you.